Good. Taking lamb to higher weights is part of the production policy of Ian Gammy, who farms at Inverbervie in Kincardinshire. He runs a flock of 1,500 ewes, but also buys stores with the aim of taking lambs through to 21 and a half kilos dead weight. We're selecting to try and get to 3L. We're, top, we're aiming for a top weight of 21 and a half. Um, we're trying to get as many ewes and ewes in there as we can get, because it's worth a good bit of money. <laughs> so when you're selecting your lambs today, how are you assessing them as you're handling them? The bulk of our selection is done by weight and we like to think that we can get 43 kilos out of lambs. Our homebred lamb tends to be a fairly standard item, so the weight, the weight scales does help a lot in that. And then when you're assessing for the fat cover, how do you make sure you're not sending them over fat? We handle them as well. We handle their backs, handle their tails and that's basically it. Now you normally buy in store lambs, which obviously you're looking to finish as quickly and as economically as possible. So when you're deciding the feed regime, what are you aiming for with that? My feed regime, I'd like to keep that, you know, concentrates down to as short a time as possible. So we're looking for maximum growth at grass. Take them in four to six weeks and they should be finished. How important to you are consistent growth rates at that time? They're very important, although they're not always easily achieved. The faster they grow, the quicker they go, so therefore get them away. But then if the weather turns dry as it's done this summer, it's, it's difficult sometimes to get, keep, the, keep the growth there, keep it going. How valuable is protein to you in the feed that you give them? At the moment they're just in grass, so that's, that takes care of it. But the grass is beginning to uh, fade away now and we'll have to introduce protein feeds from now on to, cons to get the lambs to thrive at the, at the rate we're looking for. Now you're also lambing 1,500 ewes yourself, and obviously that you're weaning the lambs, so how do you avoid uh, the check that inve inevitably comes with weaning? Firstly, we tend to pick our, our single lambs, they're coming to weight fast, so we tend to leave the singles on their mothers Either depends how the rest of the lambs are doing, but we can either wean them first or wean them last. And we have a consistent supply of lambs coming through if we, if we watch what we're doing when, when we wean certain flocks. But when you are weaning lambs and then taking them on and finishing them off their mothers, how do you make sure that you minimise that check that they suffer at weaning? By careful handling, stress-free environments, keep them in good grass, put them onto better grass than we were on before maybe after two or three days, where they were, just to leave them in the same field and then move them on to better stuff. Why do you put them back to where they were? Just a lot of stress and, you know, they, 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 tend to, they tend to do better if they know where they are. You're obviously aware that the lamb you're sending off is going to land up fairly soon on somebody's plate, so what sort of things do you do here to make sure that the meat-eating quality is as good as it can be? Well, the things that we normally do are keep stressing the lamb down as far as we can make sure it's handled as, as well as we can and that includes not pulling wool to bruise meat and you know the impact that would have on the carcass and uh, you know to try and do things as welfare friendly as we can.